Okay, so it's been a half an hour, so our serum separator tubes have sat long enough that now they can be spun to then separate the packed cells from the liquid portion, which is the serum. The heparin tubes are not going to clot, so these tubes could have been spun immediately because we don't need that half hour time to allow them time to clot. So these could have been done right away, but I waited to do them with my serum tubes um, just for the purpose of this video. Now, I have the exact same amount of blood in both of these tubes, which tells me that I did my draw properly because these are both filled completely and they have the exact same amount. This also tells me that these will be balanced when I place them in the centrifuge because they contain the same amount of volume of blood in each of them. I also have my serum separator tubes, which you can see were also filled properly because they again have the same amount of blood in them. So when I load my centrifuge, I'm gonna do so by opening the top, okay? I'm gonna place the same tubes directly across from one another. So directly across. And then same thing with my heparin tubes. So here and here and here and here. You're gonna close the top on the machine. The machine should be set to roughly about 1500 RPMs. Um, and then set it to 15 minutes. I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, so as you can see, you can see that the machine is stationary. You can hear that it's running, but it's not vibrating, it's not jumping around, it's showing me that it was loaded balanced because it's running nice and calm, there's nothing wrong here. If I turn this off and I purposely load the machine unbalanced, you'll see right away once I turn it on that the machine will vibrate and potentially can walk right off of the table. So if I put these here, now it's unbalanced, I turn it on, difference. This is not balanced. Those tubes could break. The machine could fall off of the countertop. That is not good. So that immediate indicator tells you there's something wrong and your machine is not balanced. It should not vibrate like that. So I'm going to fix that. And now I'm going to allow the machine to run for 15 minutes.